Okay, it's the Asia Cup. It's the 2023 edition. Yes, we're in 2024, but this is a backlog due to COVID. I believe China was originally due to host it. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to go through the five teams who I think have the potential of winning this year's um, tournament. Um, and then I will pick my winner who I think will win it. So we're going to go through the five teams. We're going to start with the hosts and the reigning champions. Yes, somehow Qatar are the reigning champions. And I, I say that, now a lot of people are going to think that that's disrespectful. I'm, I'm basing it on what I saw at the World Cup. Now, I know the standard's a bit different in the Asia Cup, and that's, I'm not offending anyone there. Um, the standard's very much different in when it comes to the world stage with, with better teams. So I know that they're going to be strong here because the competition isn't as strong. And they're in their home country. They're the champions, to be fair. I don't know many of their players. I like to think that they have a lot of the same players that played in the World Cup. So they're going to fancy their chances. So it's going to be hard to count them out of it. South Korea. Now, South Korea do actually have some really good players. Um, I believe Kim, who plays for Bayern Munich, uh, is one of their star players, one of the best centre-backs in the world at the moment. Got a big move and he seems to be playing well for Bayern Munich. So he's going to be vital. Um, but the main man, obviously, is Sun Tottenham. So, um, probably main man now as well uh, a player that has uh, has been a poster boy for South Korean football for a long time and he is one of the one of the best players in the world and certainly South Korea's best ever player so um, he's going to be a player that's going to have a lot of attention and he's going to be vital to seeing if they can win this tournament for the first time in a very long time they've won it twice but not not since the 60s I believe so they have a chance um, but they're going to have to be near enough perfect to, to challenge some of the other teams. Um, we now go to Iran, a team that have won it before, um, a team that consistently gets to the World Cup and they had a good show in um, uh, last time out. Unlucky not to qualify, I believe. Um, they might have qualified, can't remember now, but I know that they had a, a better tournament than expected, especially after losing to England in that first match. Uh, got some experienced players. Uh, I, again, I'm, I'm not too many, much aware of their players. I know that they have um, Sam and Godos from Brentford and I, I believe they do have a couple of other players but my mind is playing tricks on me. They, they, they're very similar to Qatar, you know, they, they know the field, they know their strengths and they're hard to beat um, and they won't win by many when they win, they'll, they'll win necessary and they'll, they'll get to the late stages. Um, I just think they might fall short getting to the final. Now my two teams, again I don't know how the draw set out so hopefully this could be the final. I think it's very evident that it, it should be for me. I, I know South Korea is a team people fancy, but I think the second strongest team in, in this in this tournament is Australia. And now Australia is not the team they were 20 years ago, but they're a team that won this tournament the year uh, the tournament before last. Um, they've still got some handy players. They had a very good World Cup, uh, got to to the knockout stages, uh, and they've got some handy players that you know. A lot of them play in Scotland. A lot of them play at home. Um, but they know how to beat this opposition and this standards. And um, a couple of players that I can mention, Ryland McGee from Millsborough, they've got Mitchell Duke, who I believe plays um, in Asia. Um, Harry Suter, I know he doesn't start for Leicester, but he probably has the standard to come in and play good football and, and, and do what's uh, expected from him. So I think Australia, I'd be shocked if they didn't get to at least the semi-finals. Well, I think they will be the issues runners up. And finishing with... Uh, the favourites, the team that everyone fancies, a team that is potentially the best non-European team apart from maybe Argentina and Brazil at this current moment in time for me. Uh, I think Japan have some real talent at the moment, a very young squad uh, compared to what they normally fill out. And if you look at their um, squad, they've only got four players that actually play in Japan, which is very unlike um, Japan teams from the past. But um, there's some players that have not even been picked, but the players that have been picked, Matoma, um, you know, uh, they've got the uh, young lad, uh, Kubu, from um, Real Sociedad, who was by Real Madrid. Uh, Kitsa Do, uh, the two guys from Celtic. Um, and then obviously, um, Tamiatsu from Arsenal. And I'm missing players there because I'm on the spot, but um, Minamino. Uh, so they've got a lot of talent, a lot of quality, Premier League experience, players that play in top European leagues. 
So they're going to be the team to beat, and they are probably the favourites for the reason. Now, um, I've probably already given it away. I, when it comes to who do I think is going to win it, again, if the draw allows it, I expect it to be Australia versus Japan final. And who do I think is going to win it? I've already given it away. I can't see any team beating them um, when it matters. Um, again, the standard's not great. Japan are just too good for this standard, but they would they would trouble a lot of teams in other competitions as well. So I think the uh, Asia Cup winners will be Japan.